Table tennis classification has 11 classes and is split into two groups. Physical impairments are represented by numbers 1 to 10, where functional ability is most affected in 1 and least in 10. Classes 1 to 5 are wheelchair players and 6 to 10 are standing players. Those with an intellectual or learning disability compete in class 11. Lexi, our on-screen guide to para-sport classification. Lexi illustrates the different levels of impairment in each class by simply using four colours. Green indicates no impairment, red denotes a high degree of impairment, and in between we've yellow for low and orange for moderate, and where you see a space, it represents a missing limb. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to the OCBC Arena One. And we've got the second session of table tennis in this eight ASEAN Para Games. Class One is for wheelchair players with a high degree of impairment affecting the trunk and legs and a moderate impairment affecting the shoulders and arms. With wheelchair brakes locked on throughout play, these players hold on to the wheel rim for balance and push their body back to upright using their elbows. Their bats are strapped onto the hand to assist with grip and control. Class 2 is for wheelchair players with a high degree of impairment affecting the mid-trunk and legs, with a moderate impairment affecting the hands. With wheelchair brakes locked on throughout play, these players hold on to the wheel rim for balance and push their body back to upright using their elbows. Their bats are strapped to the hand to assist with grip and control. Class 3 is for wheelchair players with a moderate impairment affecting the arms with highly affected legs or a high degree of impairment affecting the mid-trunk and legs. These players hold on to the wheel rim to gain extra reach and maximise arm power. Their wheelchair brakes are locked on throughout play. Class 4 is for wheelchair players with a moderate impairment affecting the trunk and legs or a high degree of impairment affecting the lower trunk and legs. Players stretch their body for sideways movement and use the wheelchair for forward and backwards movement during play. They increase reach by holding on to the chair. Class 5 is for wheelchair players with a high degree of impairment affecting the legs or the loss of limbs. These players move both their chair and body to get around the table. Their range of shots is not affected. So after that uh, wonderful Lexi information piece. I hope you're very much more au okay fait with all the elements involved here. It's Indonesia versus Singapore and they're the class one to five. You just had the explanation of what uh, is involved and obviously wheelchair players have uh, constraints, restrictions and obviously rules appropriate to them. But the basic uh, table size and everything, every element concerning the uh, table tennis itself is exactly the same. Here's Toby Tin from Singapore and uh, she's 21 years old and will be competing both in this team event as well as in the women's doubles and the singles in class four as well. In class four uh, her fair sitting balance and her fully functional arms and legs. And there's Tarsilem of Indonesia. Indonesia, of course, who were uh, very, very impressive in their performance in Nepadao in Myanmar. And that was the last time out and, uh, in fact, won the overall 99 golds altogether. And uh, in table tennis, they picked up 16 golds. So they really have a major, major chance overall of uh, putting on a great show, but Thailand also, we had the men's event uh, in the 
classification 10 at the standing earlier today and they were uh, very very impressive they beat Singapore by 3-1 and there's a good crowd here isn't there inside this OCBC arena very very good crowd now you can see the break is is an important element here locked on so although the the warm-up there on the backhand side occasionally we've also obviously got the helpers to bring the ball in as well and uh, lots of uh, the natural action there would be backhand you think a little bit nervous isn't she young toby tin you can tell that uh, looking up at the screen as well there's a large screen inside this uh, fabulous ocbc arena one stadium and uh, the team singapore flag is also there in evidence we've got the uh, the warm-up almost complete now well, tarsalem she's uh, significantly more experienced at 38 years old and it will be really a question of who can take the initiative and get the attack really working early. Here is uh, Bittin. A couple more bounces and hits. Getting the, uh, the nerves out of the system. There she is, the 38-year-old Tarsi Lem. Certainly uh, experience and as previous uh, winner in the singles as well. She'll be competing uh, in all three classes, individual singles as well as doubles and in the team event now. Going to see Singapore a little bit later as well. We'll see them in this... Um, Round Robin. So we've got uh, this opening day with the wheelchair. You can see the uh, performance at the moment is Indonesia really showing a very, very good 9 1. Nine. 1 9, in fact. There's the service. And now. Uh, very, very impressive performance. The Indonesian very solid, locking on to every shot and getting the ball back to her early too easily. And that's at 10-1 now. And Tarsilem absolutely One, dominating. Ten. That's a better service, but she's got to follow it up with some ball down the line as well. And that is a good point. Uh, you can tell there's a little bit of nerves there amongst uh, Toby Tins body and that is 11-2 and uh, an easy victory in this opening game by the Indonesian Tasi Lem Thank you Coming back for a little chat to uh, to coach but I think she, there's definitely nerves going on here, you can tell you can feel it Toby Chin listening hard at the solid defence of Tarsalem, very impressive. You can see that she's putting a lot of action on the ball as well. Yeah. Very solid. And looking for the line, but doesn't make it. That's the, uh, the problem that Bittin has at the moment. So 11-2 in this opening game for Indonesia. And again, really very, very strong. 16 golds throughout the whole tournament. Last time out in Nepadal. And that's a very, very good start for Tasi Lem, the hugely experienced player from Indonesia. No, oh, that's very kind of her, bringing the bat back. Right. Okay, something's got to happen right now here for B10. This one to five classification, it's the team event at the moment. There's the, essentially the break on there. So they face the table. 
here we go. This is game two. And a bit of pressure on again into the body and uh, eventually succumbed to beat in there from that shot. Love one. Good reach. Oh, that's really nice play. Good rally. That would have gone out. Actually not struck it, so that's love two. Two love now. Atasalem in the lead. And with the service. Yeah, she is very resilient, you can tell. Her defence is very strong. Powerful on the service as well. And again, struggling. Beaten is really struggling. Love four here. Love five. Came into a position where she couldn't play it, so caught it. Oh, that lovely shot. Nice work. One five. Five one now. Five one. Good angles there from. Beat in, uh, just missed that eventually on that backhand, but nice angles. He's got to develop that uh, ambition. Yeah, again, she, well, had the right idea, didn't quite execute, but the good idea, forcing her opponent out wide to the backhand side and then pushing in a quick uh, change of direction. Good defence. Nice, that's really cracking. That is an absolute very brilliant rally. And B10 just showing she's listening to the coach, trying to vary the attack. Three, six, three. Yeah, yeah. Nice work out to the right side. A lot of action for the helper here, isn't there? Trying to pick the ball up. Lost the ball for the moment. Caught in behind, so we'll need to get. Ah, oh, there, well done. It's 3-7. Three, seven. Three, seven. Yeah, reaching well, I have to say. Well, that caught the top of the net. Three, but uh, it still took the table as well. So Tarsilem is just showing her experience here. Uh, the backhand not working. And just two points off this game now. 9-3. That's out. Nine four. Tarsalem still in service. Good. Oh, just missed it. Just looking at the edge there, but that's now ten four. Uh, four ten, in fact. So that is game point here to Tarsalem of Indonesia. This is that one, but she's got plenty of other chances here. 5 10. Still 5 10. Reserve. Yeah, that's really good. Nice again, just pushing it into areas she's not comfortable with. But that's it there. That's 11 6 in the second. And uh, Indonesia's Tarsidem takes the second game against Toby Tin of. Singapore takes a bat back to the other side. Well, she learnt from the last mistake. Uh, well, hey, I tell you what, she's got every right to be smiling, isn't she? Looking good at the moment. This is the team event, team competition. And, uh, of course, the classification is in the team event one to five with one being the most difficult, of course. We have a look through a few of the bits of action from that first game. Really difficult to, uh, to reach when the speed comes on as well. It's got to be reaction very, very quick. Tarsalem certainly was in control of that. Brave effort by B. Tim. They come back to table. This is for the third. 11-2, uh, 11-6 at the moment. Third game, Tarsalem to serve. 
And another error there for two, love two. And, well, big frustration here for B10. Accuracy required. Lots of pimples there on that backhand, that's for sure. And another error for th love three. Love three. Difficult. She's against a very, very much more experienced player. Struggling a little bit to find a way through. And find it there. Nice. He heavy side spin as well with that loop. One, three, three, one. And again, missed the opportunity from receiving serve. Holding that left wheel again, she gets a lot of energy and per purchase from that, so able to put in a, a fair... Oh, that's a good service. And can she follow it up? Yes, she can. Nice work. So 3-4, good work from the beat in. Get a lot of power with that upper body, and now it's leveled up at four all, so good work from B10. I think the longer this goes on, the more comfortable and confident she'll be. There's definitely nerves jangling at the moment. Not so with Tarsalem, she looks to be in total control, isn't she? Eight tables here inside this. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Oh, yeah, and a nod of approval. B Tin says, wow, that was great. And another one. Very impressive. Four, seven. Four, seven. You heard the score probably. And another one. And uh, moves to the other side. Eight, four now. Comes back to Tarsalem. Eight, four. And another edge this time. And maybe a little bit of apology, but that's nine, four. Heavy top spin there, a little bit more, and that's 10 4. And suddenly, look at this from four all in this game to six points in a row. And it's a set point, a game point rather, to Indonesia. And this will be the match right here. That is it. They will shake hands. And that is 11 4. Wow, that was really impressive. Tarsalem who knows how to win, has played in many of these uh, fabulous previous seven uh, ASEAN para games. She shows her experience there and wins it by three games to love. Yeah, there was definitely some early nerves there as we have a look at a few replays couple of moments where you thought, wow, OK, that uh, could happen. But ultimately, consistency from Tarsalem. Watching hard. Look at those long pimples there on that backhand side. The forehand is very flat, but... Uh, well... That is the end of that match. And there is the score. 11-2, 11-6, 11-4. Indonesia's Tarsalam has beaten Singapore's Toby Tin in this first matchup of the team event. We've got another a singles matchup. And then we will have...